Taylor Swift fans are showing their support for their fellow Swifty, who reportedly died following her Houston concert over the weekend. According to Houston's NBC affiliate, Jacob Lewis was struck and killed by a suspected drunk driver in the early hours of Saturday morning while he was traveling home from the Lover Singers show with his sister. On the way home, their car stalled. Jacob at once started to push the car when he was tragically hit and killed by a drunk driver. The GoFundMe page created to raise money for his funeral expenses said, Supporters of the Grammy winner flooded the site to show their love. With more than 8,300 donations made as of Wednesday morning, the platform has raised more than $125,000. Those who are donating are giving in the form of $13 to represent Taylor's favorite number and are commenting with song lyrics, including lines from her emotional track, Bigger Than the Whole Sky, off her latest album, Midnight's. The 33-year-old has been performing in front of sold-out crowds for the last few weeks as she travels the country for her era's tour and has cultivated a passionate audience. Access Hollywood's Scott Evans spoke to her in November 2021 at the premiere of her short film All Too Well, and she reflected on their connection. I love planning things secretly for them because <laughs> yeah, right. they're so rewarding. They do this. Right. And they show up. They do this. Yeah. And like, it's so rewarding to surprise. I can't believe they care that much, honestly, right. still. Right. Okay, listen, they care a whole lot. I've been online looking at some of the Easter egg and the, the connections that they've made. The one that killed me was Dylan and Sadie's age difference. They were like, okay, no, there's there's a there's a secret somewhere in there. There's a, a secret somewhere in there. Are they reading too much into it? They are. Um, <laughs> they are the best detectives in the world. Right. I, I love watching their theories too. I love looking at, I like scroll TikTok, like watching their theories so often, all the time. Oh, I love that. I, so I love to just watch what they come up with because they're brilliant. Yeah. And also sometimes, I'm very into numerology. Okay. Sometimes they find things I didn't even plan. Really? Math. Okay. 95% of the time <laughs> I'm planning it. But there are some times when they're like, the math, and I'm Is like, there? Oh my God, the I math! Didn't, I didn't anticipate that one. Okay, wait, what about this one? What about this one? So, you wore this. Okay, this is Princess, Princess Diana. Oh my gosh, this is not, the, I, I just liked it. a dress. It was a black dress I liked. I'm not trying to, I'm not. No, it was that, so I'm, that one is wrong. We debunked it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, <laughs> I saw that too, I was like. <gasps> no, no, not at all. Okay, listen, we were in, actually interviewing you for the, the promotion of Red, and we ask you what you wanted to do by the time you turned 30. This is what you said to us. We're still doing it. <laughs> We're still having fun. I feel I feel like that that was a good checklist. I feel really solid about the right. progress on that checklist. So tell me this, 40. What's no, on the checklist now? No. No. Immediately no. No? No. 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 Do you want tell me no one more thing. time capsules. One, <laughs> we want to show this in 40. No. Okay, then th this lastly this. And this is for my man Michael Marzen. There's the the car at the end of the video is a 1989. Yeah, is that maybe I mean, a, obviously it is. Yeah, is that, like, obviously, You know right? me now, right? That's for you, Michael. <laughs> Boom. <laughs>